Hey everyone, Justin from Core Performance here with the instruction and setup video for our all new Iceplate XO XFT, which is a functional fitness specific variant of Iceplate XO. Now you guys might be wondering, well, what does a functional fitness variant of Iceplate XO even have to do with really anything? And the answer is that it has to do with bringing active thermoregulation to functional fitness sports and activities, the CrossFit games, the tactical games, the Patriot games, Spartan races, and basically just about any endurance sport you've ever seen from ultra running, trail running to the Tour de France and cycling. All of these endeavors have been the beneficiaries of experiments in human thermoregulation for performance enhancement over the last 20 years or so. And we're talking everything from labs at Stanford University all the way to the Tour de France itself. We wanted to bring this capability to functional fitness and make it available for everyday people like you and me to use in our workouts to stay healthy, stay fit, and get ready for the job. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's get started with setup and assembly. Down here on the table, I've got our brand new Iceplate XO XFT in the package. So we're gonna show you the unboxing of that and how to get it set up. We also have the optional performance upgrades. These are the Ice Fence Aero shoulder pads and these are the Ice Fence Classic Ventilation Pontoons. We're gonna set these aside here for a second and just focus on ice plate XO XFT. So the first step is you are going to take your ice plate curves, you're going to fill them with water uh, to the fill line, which is back here, and then you're gonna freeze them uh, overnight. Then when you pull them out ready for your workout, you're going to insert them into your ice plate XO XFT. So let's go ahead and dive into the package and get started on setting it up. So this is how, exactly how it's gonna to arrive to you. And you'll see that when you flip it over, the first thing you're gonna see is a hang tag. This hang tag has a QR code, and this QR code is how you were able to get to this instruction video. So first thing we're going to do is remove the QR code hang tag, and we're gonna set this aside. You got stickers on the front. Everybody loves stickers. Okay, and then we're going to untwist it. And you can see that there is a distinct front and back. So the front of XFT says core performance on here, and you can see laser etched Ice Plate XO XFT on here. The back of Ice Plate XO XFT has a simple Q hex logo. So we're going to lay that down here, and then we've also got our performance belt, and we've got two utility pockets. We'll show you what those are for in a second. Okay, so now let's talk about setup and assembly. So we have our Ice Plate XO XFT that we just pulled out of the package laid out right here on the table. This is Iceplate XO XFT itself. This is the performance belt. These are the two utility pockets. And then we've got one ice plate curve already in the rear plate bag. And then we've got one ice plate curve outside the rear plate bag. So now we're gonna show you how to install the ice plate curves into the rear plate bag. And you're gonna to wanna to put these in the rear plate bag before you set up the performance belt. So what you wanna do is take your plate bag, open it up, Make sure that you do this before you put your performance belt on because it will make it much more difficult to put ice plates in if you put the belts on first, okay? So we're just gonna line it up on the bottom. Now, Ice Plate XO XFT has a dual layer plate bag. This top section that's closest to your body is actually for Ice Fence Classic Ventilation Pontoons. If you want them, those are optional. You wanna make sure that you get this in the shiny glossy part. That is the actual plate bag for the ice plate curve. So then you're gonna to wanna to push it up against your body. And a note, you will have to break this in probably somewhere between five and 10 times before you get everything to kind of really sit flat and be pretty. So you wanna shove that plate bag or ice plate curve in there. And then you wanna peel the hook Velcro field back and then secure it. And that's it, okay? so. That's basically how to get it in, and you're going to want to flip it over, and then you flatten out the wings and the shoulder straps, and you're good to go. Now, flip this. Again, the front is where you have the iPhone pocket, so go to the side of the Q-Hex. Now you're going to put your performance belt on. I usually start by centering the performance belt, and then that allows me an anchor point from which I can make adjustments. Okay, so like this. Make sure you wanna keep the hook Velcro fields on the performance belt away from the sports skin fabric. The sports skin fabric is really uh, some of the magic of the Iceplate XO XFT chassis itself. It's amazing, it's super soft, super stretchy, but it is also vulnerable to hooks, so just make sure you keep that hook away. Okay, then you're going to 
flip it over, go to the front, and then when you put this on, you can adjust it however you want. We'll go ahead and do that right now. So now I've got it all set up and I'm good to go. The last but not least uh, is to take your utility pockets in this bag here. Now these all come in, uh, these are actually made from upcycled ice plate XO laminate. So each one is unique, no two are the same. And these are for iP uh, AirPods. Uh, one is for the case and then the other one can be for your car keys. It can be for the AirPods themselves if you don't want to put them back in the case to protect those uh, rather fragile batteries. Uh, or you can put credit cards, driver's license, and your car key in the second one. So these just kind of go right up here on the iPhone pocket. And the iPhone pocket is designed so it opens like this so that you can access it while running. And what you want to do is put your iPhone in the top so that the volume buttons are facing up. We built this intentionally this way so that if you needed to adjust volume when traffic picks up, if you're on a run or uh, you know if you're in the gym and then the volume changes or something like that, you can just kind of reach in here and adjust the volume super easy. And that's how you set up Iceplate XO XFT. Okay, so if you'd like to adjust the weight of your Iceplate XO XFT, we have a link down below that will give you step-by-step -step instructions for how you can custom tune the weight of your ice plates to fit your fitness level. Two ice plate curves filled with 50 ounces of water will weigh approximately eight pounds. So for me personally, eight pounds is a really good workout um, on pretty much like 90% of days. Uh, but if you're one of those freaking fryer breathers out there and you wanna like rock on with 20 pounds, then knock yourself out. Just click that link below and we'll give you instructions for how to get anywhere you want from eight to 20 pounds. Okay, on to the optional performance upgrades. So there's really two with Iceplate XO XFT. And in no particular order, they are the Ice Fence Classic Ventilation Pontoons. And these are built for the special uh, dual layer pocket that we'll show you guys in a second. And then there's also Ice Vents Aero, which are for the shoulders. So Ice Vents Aero are pretty simple. We designed this really cool new um, shoulder shroud. And this shoulder shroud, actually unlike conventional Ice Plate XO, is designed to hold the Ice Vents Aeros entirely inside. Um, it's really, really neat. So you don't get as much ventilation, but you get maximum cooling power from the two ice plates and you're getting get all that padding you need to help you carry that weight, disperse that load over the course of your workout. Now the Ice Vents Classic Ventilation Pontoons go on the outer portion of this two layer pocket, which you can see has hook Velcro strips right here. So you take your Ice Vents Classic Ventilation Pontoon, you wanna take the hook side and then you wanna slide it in. And you wanna be careful to not get let the hook connect. And you do that by putting your hand kind of over the top and then sliding it in like so. Okay, so now our sports skin fabric protects your bare skin. So remember, we optimize sports skin and the Ice Plate XO XFT for. Uh, next to skin, bare chested workouts or bare skin workouts, sports bras or, you know, no shirt for men. And this is so that if you are working out in a temperate climate, say somewhere between 50 and 70 or 50 and 65 degrees Fahrenheit, that you could um, just use the plate bags for weight and then you could install Ice Fence Classic ventilation pontoons if you wanted standoff ventilation. It's definitely not a must have. Ice Plate XOXFT is designed for conductive thermoregulation, but again, in a temperate climate, uh, or if you just want that standoff padding for your weights, then you're good to go. Okay, we're on to the final and last section, which is care and maintenance. So for care and maintenance of Ice Plate XOXFT, it's actually super simple. You simply machine wash cold, and then you hang dry, or you can lay it out on your driveway or your patio or your balcony or whatever to sun dry uh, or air dry. Uh, your ice plate curves themselves, you're gonna wanna store full and in the freezer. Try to keep your ice plate XO XFT out of the freezer because condensation combined with Velcro over time can degrade the stickiness. But you know maybe that is not a huge deal for you. We just wanna recommend that you keep ice plate XFT in a dry place, keep your ice plate curves in the freezer, and you should be good to go. And make sure that you keep the hook Velcro 
on your performance belt away from the sport skin fabric, okay? Otherwise, what you're gonna experience is pilling. Um, the sport skin fabric is a lot like all of the four-way stretch moisture wicking fabrics that you see in a lot of performance athletic, technical performance athletic apparel, Lululemon, on running and the like. Pretty much everybody uses it. So we use a, a sport skin's a little higher end variation of that, but it is still susceptible to pilling. Uh, it makes contact with hook Velcro. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for our setup and assembly video on Iceplate XO XFT, our functional fitness specific weighted training vest. If you guys liked what you saw, we'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button, drop a comment below. Uh, you guys know we'll get back to you right away, but that really does help us out with the YouTube algo so that more people can see the benefits of thermoregulation in their workouts. Other than that, we'll see you guys next time. Stay frosty.